a sports fan traveling back in time to 1952 would feel right at home. Many of the teams that dominate sports today were already well established. You wouldn't be surprised to learn, for example, that the Canadian ice hockey team won gold at the Oslo 1952 Olympic Winter Games, or that the United States basketball team dominated in Helsinki that summer. But individual sports, like athletics, have a way of defying our expectations. Who could have predicted that an event like the Olympic 1500 meters final would be won by an athlete from, say, Luxembourg? Luxembourg had never won an Olympic gold medal. With a population then of only 250,000 people, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg is squeezed into the heart of Europe, a country so small you could walk across it in a day. The country had won only one Olympic medal in its entire history. But in the 1950s, Luxembourg did have a contender in middle distance running, an athlete by the name of Josie Bartel. Typical of his era, most of Bartel's competitive running had been done in the Army. And while being the fastest runner in the Luxembourg Armed Forces is impressive, it does not necessarily buy you an easy ticket to the world of international athletics. Bartel had reached the final of the 1500 meters at London 1948. Without ever threatening to win a medal, he finished ninth. So Bartel already had at least one thing going in his favor, low expectations. Four years on, now age 25, Bartel lined up in the final in Helsinki. Werner Lug of West Germany was the pre-race favorite. He warmed up for the Olympic Games by matching the 1500 meters world record. And Bob McMillan of the United States was the dark horse, having switched from the steeplechase to the mile. Among all these talents was Josie Bartel of Luxembourg. All eyes were on the favorite Lug at the start, and as early as the first lap, he was really showing his strength. Lug of West Germany leads. Roflam is second. Bartel of Luxembourg moves into third. One lap to go. Lug is still ahead on the bend, but he's tiring. Bartel has taken over in front from the favorite. Bob McMillan of the United States is closing too, but can Bartel hold him off? It's going to be close as they head to the line. This is going to be a remarkably close finish. Bartel wins gold. Bartel of Little Luxembourg has won the 1500 meters. And that's a new Olympic record too. It became clear that something exceptional had just happened. Bartel had won Luxembourg's first ever gold medal with a new Olympic record. And you know what that means. For the first time in Olympic history, the whole world got to hear the wrong national anthem. Games organizers couldn't find Hemmick, the Luxembourg national anthem. They even struggled to find the right flag. The anthem had never been played at the Olympic Games. So in honor of that great moment, here is Hemmick. Enjoy. <laughs> 